Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Thursday, August 12th, the feast day of St. Jane Francis de Chantel. Um, and it's also the 19th Thursday of Ordinary Time. But back to St. Jane Francis de Chantel. She was a nun in the 1600s and she founded the Order of the Visitation of Holy Mary. And she is the patron saint of forgotten people, widows, and parents who are separated from their children. Today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through chapter 19, verse 1. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Then Peter, approaching, asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of, kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the, forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant, as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. All right, so we've got the parable of the unforgiving servant, um, of which Jesus teaches us how to be merciful and forgiving, just like God the Father is merciful and forgiving of us. And... Um, you know, it's he he paints this picture in our mind of just how much, of how unfair and selfish it is for us to seek forgiveness from others whenever we make mistakes, but yet we don't do the same for others, whenever they make mistakes towards us. And Jesus is just inviting us to forgive. Um, we just that's just the nature of the game. If you want to consider yourself a Christian, and you want to consider consider yourself a follower of Christ, you need to you need to forgive people. Um, whether or not they seek it out or not, um, because if we even if we fail, like it's a win-win. Like if we forgive them, you know, maybe it'll smooth that smooth that relationship relationship over. But then also, you know, that lack of forgiveness means that they're kind of still whoever hurt you means that they're still kind of controlling you, and they're still kind of impacting you. And so you just need to let it go, and just forgive them in your heart, and just move forward. Um, whether you say it verbally or not, because the moment you let it go, then they no longer had, they know, they no longer hold you captive inside your own heart. But it's amazing how powerful people can be, um, just through our, our mind and our hearts. So, um, and Father Schmidtmeyer during his homily this morning said that um, you know mistakes are human, like we all make mistakes. But the the simple phrase was mistakes are human. Forgiveness is no, mistakes are natural, but forgiveness is supernatural. Um, or you can also say it as mistakes are <clears throat> mistakes are human, and forgiveness is divine. So we, as Christians, are called to forgive, but it's a gift from God and God's grace. So whoever it is. That you need to forget, forgive in your heart. Um, somebody from your past, of course, just 
if you feel like reaching out to them, reach out to them and um, say, I forgive them, forgive you. And if you don't want to do that, if that's going to bring be too difficult, um, you don't have to. Just bring it to the Lord and uh, pray on it like day after day after day to just forgive them in your heart so you can move forward. So otherwise, have a great day. God bless and keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.